As it was the Blessed Virgin Mary whom God chose to bring Christ into our world, so too the Blessed Virgin Mary was the instrument that God chose to bring Christianity to Japan. Go and set all on fire was the command given to St. Francis Xavier by his superior, St. Ignatius of Loyola. Providentially, on August 15, 1549, the Feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven, St. Francis Xavier landed on Kagoshima, on the island of Kyushu, near the city of Nagasaki. St. Francis had been in Malacca, Malaysia, where he met a Japanese man named Anjiro, who had been searching for the famous missionary. Anjiro urged St. Francis Xavier to return with him to Japan, telling St. Francis Xavier that the Japanese people would easily fall in love with the Catholic faith and the whole country would be converted in six months. St. Francis Xavier couldn't resist and plans are made to go to Japan. Things did not go well at first for St. Francis Xavier and he ended up sailing up the coast to Hirado on the northwest coast of Kyushu. St. Francis spent a total of two years and three months in Japan preaching the faith. Some 2,000 Japanese accepted this new religion and were baptized. St. Francis Xavier is the patron saint of Japan. Forty years later, the feudal lord Toyotomi Hideyoshi felt threatened by the European influences of the Christians and banned Catholicism in Japan. By then, there were 500,000 converts. He ordered all foreign Catholic priests to leave the country and close the borders. To set an example to the people of Japan that Christianity was forbidden on February 5, 1587, 26 Catholics were martyred in Nagasaki on Nishizaka Hill after walking 600 miles barefoot in the winter from Miyako, which is present-day Kyoto. There were priests, religious, and lay people in the group. It was said of Louis Iravaki, who was 12 years old and the youngest of the group, that his face glowed looking up into the sky when he was hanging on the cross. St. Peter Baptist, St. Paul Miki, and their companions gave their lives for Christ. Eyewitnesses testify that St. Paul Miki continued to preach the gospel from the cross until his death. This monument stands today as a reminder of what happened almost 425 years ago on Nishizaka Hill. Later on, the persecution intensified. Once a year, the Japanese people were required to step on the fumie, metal plaques with images of Our Lord or Our Lady. If you were a Catholic and stepped on the sacred images, you renounced your faith and committed apostasy, but were allowed to live. If you refused, you were tortured to death. Some were brought to Unzen Hot Springs to be tortured. They were bound to posts and boiling water was poured over them. A monument today honors the tortured and martyred Christians. A tactic used by the torturers was to cut off the fingers of Christian children's hands so that their parents would be moved to deny their faith. This is a statue of young blessed Ignatius Uchibori in Shimabara near Nagasaki who lost his fingers. Stained glass windows in the Catholic Church in Shimabara tell of the stories of tortured and martyred Christians. Here Christians are being tortured at the stake. This window shows Christian hands being tied behind their backs and then thrown off a boat to drown. This window shows Christians being led and then tortured and killed at the Unzen Hot Springs or Unzen Hells as it was called by the Christians. Signs were posted all over Japan stating Christianity was banned and anyone who turned in a Christian would be rewarded. Not all priests left the country. Some stayed to serve the people underground, but were captured and later martyred. Eventually, there were no Catholic priests left in the country of Japan. Hundreds and thousands of Japanese Catholics suffered and died for their faith over the next 250 years. The first canonized Japanese woman saint is Saint Madalena of Nagasaki. She refused to step on the fumie and was tortured and hung upside down in a pit to die days later on October 15, 1634,
from drowning after a rainstorm. A recent blessed, Husto Takayama Ukong, was a convert to Catholicism, having been baptized at age 12. He neglected his faith as he got older and became a samurai in the tradition of his family. At the age of 20, his faith was rekindled and gave up his status as a samurai to devote himself to God. Having been born into nobility, rather than torture and death, he was exiled to Manila, Philippines, where he lived a life of holiness until succumbing to sickness and dying two months later on February 5th, 1615. The great martyrdom in Edo, present-day Tokyo, took place in 1623 in which it is said that 2,000 Christians were martyred. This picture depicts their capture, sentencing, and burning at the stake. The great martyrdom of Kyoto, then Miyako, took place in 1632. Fifty-two people were martyred and burned at the stake for being Christians. This is Blessed Tekla Hashimoto and her three children. The Shimabara Rebellion took place in 1638. Young Amakusa Shiro led the rebellion of Catholic Christians against their oppressive feudal lord at Hara Castle in Shimabara, Japan, near Nagasaki. The result was the murder of 37,000 Catholic Christians, mostly women and children. Recent excavations are still uncovering the bones of the faithful. A monument honors all those who died at the site. Blessed Peter Kibe, a Jesuit priest, was the first Japanese to visit Jerusalem on his way to Rome. It took him 24 years after leaving the country and studying abroad to become a priest and return to his home country, knowing that his fate would be if he, a Catholic priest, was captured. Blessed Kibe managed to minister for nine years underground under the constant threat of death. Eventually captured, Kibe was tortured without mercy, yet encouraged those suffering with him until he himself was removed for fear he'd prevent the others from breaking. They eventually disemboweled him on July 4, 1639. He was beatified with 187 companions. There are more than 400 blessed martyrs of Japan and 42 canonized saints. On July 8, 1853, the American Commodore Matthew Perry and his fleet of four warships entered Tokyo Bay, seeking to reestablish for the first time in over 200 years regular trade and discourse between Japan and the Western world. Shortly after his visit, the Japanese borders were opened once again. This is a statue of Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary of Miyako, or Miyako no Sebo. A French priest named Father Leo Robin had heard about the Japanese martyrs and deeply admired them. He started a devotional group that prayed for the conversion of the Japanese people and to end the persecution. He had six of these statues made and blessed by Pope Pius IX. One of these statues was brought to Japan. A boy was instructed to carry it up a mountain and bury it facing the city of Miyako, present-day Kyoto. With the help of the prayers and Our Lady, the edict forbidding Christianity was abolished. Ura Cathedral is the first Catholic church built in Japan after the borders reopened. It is famous for the discovery of the Japanese hidden Christians, or Kukure Kirishitan, as they were called. French missionaries returned to Japan and built Ura Church, which was consecrated on February 19, 1865. Not a single Japanese person came to the celebration. On March 17, 1865, when Father Petitjean was praying his noon prayers in the church, a Japanese woman entered and approached him, saying, We are of the same heart as you. Others joined her, wanting to see the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Catholic faith had survived underground for over 250 years. The Japanese underground church survived as there was always a leader who kept the church calendar and led the liturgical prayers for the faithful and another who was appointed to baptize. 
The faithful kept statues of the Buddhist Mother of Mercy, Kanon, in their homes. They named her Maria Kanon after the Blessed Virgin Mary. In their hearts, the Blessed Mother was with them all along, undetected by authorities. Devotion to Our Lady has always been the surest way. Nagasaki, Japan became a thriving Christian city of Catholics. In 1895, the residents of Urakami, which is the northern part of the city, started the construction of the Urakami Cathedral and completed it in 1914. The twin bell towers were completed in 1925, making it the largest cathedral in East Asia. Conversions were abundant and the parish was thriving. Here is a photo of a confirmation class right before the end of World War II. On August 9, 1945 at 11.02 a.m., a second atomic bomb was dropped on the country of Japan. The epicenter was in Urakami, the cathedral of the thriving Catholic community. When the atomic bomb exploded, Three priests were hearing confessions and 30 Catholics were inside praying the rosary. Everyone died instantly. The cathedral was the only partially standing structure in the area after the bombing. Many of the Japanese who died that day and the days to come from radiation poisoning were Catholics. 8,000 of the 12,000 members of the Catholic community perished in one day. One member of the parish and a convert to the faith was the servant of God, Dr. Takashi Nagai. He survived the bomb, but his wife did not. He was a radiologist that worked at the hospital and took care of the sick and injured that came after the explosion of the atomic bomb. He himself would later suffer from leukemia and be bedridden for years. He is famous in Japan for his writings that brought about the emotional and spiritual healing of the people after the devastation of the war. When he got radiation sickness, the people of Nagasaki built a little hut-like home for him which he named Nyokoro, where he wrote his inspirational books and prayed for peace. Dr. Nagai wrote that the Catholics of Nagasaki were the sacrificial lamb that ended World War II, just like Jesus was the sacrificial lamb on the cross that saved mankind. A year later on the anniversary of the atomic bombing of Nagasaki, his words were shared with the people at a mass celebrated outside the Urakami Cathedral. The people of Urakami had lost everything and some did not like hearing these words, but they sunk in and softened hearts to forgive and heal. Famous people came to visit Dr. Nagai at Nyokoro including Helen Keller and also Japanese Emperor Hirohito. Dr. Takashi Nagai is a national hero. Here he is pictured bedridden and riding with his two children at his side. They survived the atomic bombing because they were visiting their grandmother in the hills at the time of the bombing. Four Jesuits living in Hiroshima at the time of the first atomic bomb on August 6, 1945, claim a miracle saved them. They were near the hypocenter at the time of the bombing, but survived, only slightly injured from flying glass. The radiation that killed thousands in the months following had no effect on them. They were examined by dozens of doctors some 200 times over the years, and not a trace of radiation sickness was ever found in their bodies. In 1976, Father Jacob Schiffer attended the Eucharistic Congress in Philadelphia and told his story. We were living the message of Fatima and we prayed the rosary every day. Thanks be to God. On April 24th, 1930, a Polish conventional Franciscan priest, Saint Maximilian Maria Kolbe, arrived in Nagasaki with two other friars to evangelize Japan and to establish another Neapokalanum. City of the Immaculate. Mugenzai no Sono, meaning Garden of the Immaculate, was constructed. Nobody could understand why St. Maximilian wanted to build his monastery south of the city of Nagasaki behind a mountain on the hillside. 
St. Maximilian Kolbe, who had a great devotion to the Blessed Virgin, just replied, Our Lady wants it to be here. This proved to be wise as it was untouched by the nuclear bomb that exploded over Nagasaki. St. Maximilian Kolbe lived in Japan for six years. He taught at the Seminary University, handed out miraculous medals on the streets to the Japanese people, and published his monthly magazine, Sevo no Kishi, which means Night of the Immaculate. His influence is still felt there today as his magazine is still being published. Mugenzai no Sono remains in Nagasaki with even a high school on its campus. Having great devotion to Our Lady, Saint Maximilian even built a Lord's Grotto. The Sumida River in Tokyo was the home of a slum area after World War II called Ants Town. It is here that Venerable Satoko Kitahara served the poor. Satoko was born into a rich aristocratic family and converted to Catholicism. One day while visiting nearby Yokohama, an enormous amount of grace was given to her just by her gazing upon a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary when she by chance happened to enter a Catholic church. She sought out instruction and was received into the Catholic Church. In 1950, Sotoko met conventional Franciscan friar Zeno Zabrowski. Brother Zeno came over to Japan in 1930 with St. Maximilian Kolbe. He stayed behind at Mogenzai no Sono, remaining the rest of his life in Japan, actively serving the Japanese poor after the war. Together, Brother Zeno and Sotoko worked together to care for the destitute people and children in the Riverside Ants Town. This work became the focus for Satoko's life. She was challenged one day by a resident of Ants Town who brought up the fact that during the day she was amongst the poor but later would go to her fine home of comfort. Satoko immediately left her home and moved into the slum. She catechized the children and helped collect rags to sell for money. She contracted tuberculosis and died on January 23, 1958, at the early age of 29. She is considered a national hero and is being considered for beatification. The city of Akita in northern Japan is the home of a Catholic convent named Satei Hoshikai. It is here that the famous apparitions of Our Lady of Akita took place between 1973 and 1981. In 1973, Sister Agnes Sasegawa, a convert to the Catholic faith, began receiving messages from Our Lady there. Our Lady warned of impending doom to mankind because of unrepentant sinners and asked everyone to pray the rosary for peace. Unusual and miraculous phenomena happened during this time also. Sister Agnes was healed miraculously of her deafness during the blessing of the sacred host at benediction. Another miracle was the miraculous stigmata that appeared both on Sister Agnes's left hand and the wooden statue of Our Lady of Akita's right hand. Both bled simultaneously over a period of time. The statue also wept 101 times. The tears and blood of the statue were tested and proven to be of human origin. Many in the city of Akita came to see the phenomenon and the crying statue was shown on national TV. After much study, Bishop Ito declared the apparitions of Our Lady of Akita to be of supernatural origin, making it an approved apparition of the Catholic Church. Unfortunately today, only about 1% of Japan's population calls themselves Christian. 4% of those Christians are still living in and around Nagasaki. Like much of the modern world, the Japanese abandoned faith for the emptiness of modernism and materialism. Buddhism and Shintoism is practiced mostly only culturally. Japan has the highest suicide rate in the world. The Catholic Church in Japan is dying out with the elderly population and is in desperate need of evangelization once again. It is the nature of the Japanese people to do everything 150 percent 
as they are a most driven people of amazing talent and graciousness. Once Our Lady touches their hearts and they embrace Our Lord and Catholicism again, they will return to being a people heroically practicing the virtues and Japan will be a land of living saints. Our Lady plays a central theme in the history of Catholicism in Japan and she is the hope of the future. Let us remember the words of the great missionary St. Francis Xavier when he said, At times I have failed to place an image of our Savior's mother beside the cross. At such times I have always found the people rebellious to the gospel. It is the hope of the Maria Kanon mission of Japan to make the land of the rising sun the land of the risen sun. Please pray for us and support us in this great work for our Lord and Our Lady. Ave Maria.